Hi, babe. First off, welcome to my bedroom floor. Obviously, if you've read the title, you kind of know what's going on. And there's no other place to do this besides the floor. So that's why we are on my bedroom floor today. But to kick off this video, I would like to start by telling you babes a little story of mine. Sit down, buckle up, get some popcorn, and let's dive in. A little while back, not a long while back, just a little while back. I did a video where I reacted to viral Instagram nail videos where this video right here came about. And upon posting this video, one of my ride or dies, shout out to Merlin's mama, commented this. Can you imagine as a cat owner having those crazy elf bell things on your toes? Question mark. That's just asking for trouble and a trip to the ER. And you know what my response was? Hmm, do I dare make myself jingle toes to see what my cats would do? So here we are today, guys. We're gonna give myself these jingle toes inspired by Nail Sunny and see how my cats react. I got a lot of them, you know? I'm a crazy cat lady, no shame in my game. Enough chit chat, let's just get down to business, shall we? Gotta take off these socks. Oh my gosh, Bella, you wanna tell them how excited you are for jingle toes? Jingle toes, jingle toes, jingle toes to toes. So I'm literally, this is just regular polish. I'm going to just build jingle toes on top of this because obviously I'm not gonna keep them on for longer than a couple of hours. I did buy some craft bells and I have two different sizes. So the bigger ones will be for my big toes and the little ones will be for my smaller piggies. Also really quick, I wanted to show you guys, since we're doing acrylic, yes, I will be using acrylic. I am using Young Nails powder and liquid. So this is how nail techs in California are supposed to be performing the acrylic service. If my tools are clean right away, I will just use the uh, pusher end of my cuticle pusher, or if I have a nail file, I'll use a nail file. So if you see, we have this container of nail powder. A lot of nail techs will just use this. If you look inside and there's like bumps, inside, meaning like built up acrylic powder, then that means they're dipping it from here, which they're not supposed to because that would be cross-contamination between every client. What we do, or what I do, because this is what you're supposed to be doing, is I just put it in a little dappen dish. Now a lot of nail techs probably hate doing this because it's so small. And then here is our nail liquid, which is called monomer. And we will as well pour that in this other dappen dish. So we have our little bit of polymer and our little bit of monomer and our brush and a paper towel to wipe the excess liquid from our brush. And the reason we do this is because we don't want cross contamination between clients. And also it's gonna save us product because most of the time I will have to refill this for a full set of acrylics on a client, meaning all 10 of their fingers. It's better to just add a little bit at a time than versus having that big jar. Technically you would have to throw the rest of that jar away after each client. This is the proper way to do acrylics or to have the acrylic powder set up in the state of California. Obviously you're not supposed to do it on your bedroom floor because this isn't super sanitary, but I'm in the comfort of my home and this is my at home stuff. So I do what I want. So I'm going to just do maybe a quick speed video through this and I will see you guys when I am jingle toed up. <laughs> oh my God, this is crazy. I just, I don't know what I'm doing with my life anymore. Okay, BRB.
Okay guys, it took me almost an hour to build my jingle toes, shape my jingle toes, paint my jingle toes, and now we're here. So one hour's time, that's a long time. So I only did one foot. I know, I know, you're very disappointed. But it's a lot of work, a lot of work for me to just take them off. Yes, I finished my jingle toes. The process was very interesting. I did my best to follow the Nail Sunny tutorial. I used a nail form which is not meant for toes, like not in this way anyways. There are no such thing as nail forms to make jingle toes or elf toes, whatever we're calling these. It was very difficult, very challenging. I had to put my bells on strings and blend those in with my acrylic just so it would stick better because I have no idea what they use to make their bells stick. My bells are also different than theirs. So that was a process because the bells are heavy and they just wanted to fall and not stay up. I did choose a very sparkly gold color because you know what? The truth is, I rarely use this color, so why not put it to use where I'm not gonna be wearing it so long? Yes, my foot is in close proximity to my face, but I just have to show you guys these freaking jingle toes. Wow. This might be the craziest thing I have ever done. The next thing to do is see how these guys like them. I don't know what they're gonna think, but we're gonna find out. So, are you ready, Chubbos? Are you ready, Magoo? Let's see what the cats think. I guess my cats weren't really fans. I don't know if they're scared. Now that I'm like thinking about it, a lot of the toys that we do have for the cats, they're not really like noise toys. Most of them are just catnip toys. The plan failed, but I'm pretty proud of myself that I did these like, that's pretty crazy. It was a lot of hard work. So shout out to Nail Sunny for doing some pretty impressive crazy stuff. They definitely didn't come out as good or like clean looking as theirs did. It was my first time and I was in a rush, you know, like honestly, I just wanna take them off now, so. <laughs> I decided that I'm gonna take this video up a notch and I'm going out in public with my jingle toes. And yes, this is probably the craziest, dumbest idea I have ever had because people are probably definitely going to stare, but you know what? No shame in my game, am I right? So let's go out in public and see if people stare, even though I'm pretty sure they are. Let's go. That's today's video. <laughs> Pretty freaking crazy if you ask me. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I thoroughly enjoyed myself and my jingle toes. Actually, I'm not gonna say don't try this at home because if you wanna try it, try it, why not? My cats did not come attacking my toes like Merlin's mama and myself thought they would. No trips to the ER today. I'm pretty sure this might be the dumbest video or the craziest video. I don't even know. This is just the weirdest video I have filmed thus far. Anyways, today's video shout out goes to Athena. So shout out to you, Athena. Thank you so much for watching wherever you are. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see me do more really weird, bizarre nail videos like this, comment down below. Let me know. Tag me in all those weird, crazy, viral nail videos because maybe I'll do another one of these one time. 
Who knows? That is it for this week's video. So I will see you guys all next week on next week's video. So long and farewell, my babes. Until next time.